Is marriage good for wealth? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, because yeah. I don't want to lose 50, 70% of my money or whatever. Well, you'll have that guy on who's on TikTok all over the place saying it's a failed technology. The majority of really wealthy people uh, have long-term relationships and are in a monogamous relationship. They're married because the team is a fantastic way to build wealth. But if if the stats are true and you know 50 whatever, 50 whatever percent of people are getting divorces, doesn't that mean that if I'm building wealth, there's a 50 odd percent chance that I'm going to lose half of it if I'm married or more. Well, first off, if you have wealth going in, get a prenup. Yeah. But what I would say is, um, and first off, that number is a bit misleading because marriage is becoming a luxury item. To, uh, it used to be 95% of wealthy people got married and 85% of middle class and poor people got married. It's dropped to less than half among poor people. The bottom line is no one wants to mate with poor men. And uh, wealthy people attract a lot of mates. And generally speaking, really wealthy people I mean, there's all this, you know, there's all these, it's fun to do TikToks about Jeff Bezos on a, on a yacht with his new girlfriend and everything, but the majority of wealthy people are actually uh, uh, stay married. And the team is really powerful. You know, you, we're both working together. We're both making a lot of money. That is really powerful and sharing one set of expenses. You're going to focus on the logistics of our life or our family. And my wife's the professional baller, right? The team, the team is powerful. So this notion that you shouldn't get married or I'm not, I'm not suggesting the marriage is for anybody or stay, stay married no matter what. I'm not suggesting that at all, but there's just no getting around it. The team is much more powerful than the individual. And if you, if you break down the numbers of people who are wealthy, they generally speaking, invest a lot in their relationships. Wealth is a whole person project. There's a myth that rich people are bad people. The Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, they, Billionaires crawled over other people to get there. It's just not true. What you generally find among wealthy people, especially people who've made their own money, is that the re one of the reasons they're wealthy is they've collected allies along the way. And just as compounding is so powerful with small investments when you're young, bringing some generosity to people when they need help, being a good friend, occasionally checking in, how are you doing, helping people find jobs when they lose a job, being kind, those little investments you make as a young person really add up. And you're going to find this. I have all these great friendships now with people where I was never great friends with. But because we made small investments in each other over 20 or 30 years, just checked in, how you doing? Congrats, how you're doing this? Congrats on your wedding. Maybe not even close friends. You wake up in your 50s and you have millions of dollars in terms of a relationship. You feel close to these people. You feel like a real nice sense of, comedy with them. You really, uh, and, and this is very true of wealthy people. You want to be put in a room of opportunity, even when you're not there. So Google did a study when they put out a job opening for a product manager, they'll get 200 resumes within a few hours. They invite the 20 best in 80% of the time, the offer that's made is made to somebody who has a evangelist advocate friend in the company. So this is who you need to be. You need to be that person who's like, oh, there's a job opening here. I have this woman who would be great and then connects them. You need to be in a room. You want to be a successful professionally, be successful personally, go out, make friends, be kind, invest in them, help them when there's no obvious reason to help them. And those investments pay off. And generally speaking, and this is an, not a popular narrative, the majority of very wealthy people I have met, and I've met a lot of them, are kind, they're generous, very civic-minded, very good mates. So this trope of, you know, of Monty Burns lighting cigars with the hundred-dollar bills and owning the the nuclear power plant and pouring, you know, radioactive waste into the river—that's a cartoon. The majority of self-made people who are really wealthy are good, kind people, because you have to have allies along the way to be really successful.